I went to my girlfriend's ex's funeral, where I heard her say things like, she never met someone who she loved as much as him. Now I've broken up with her, and she's calling me selfish, saying I shouldn't make this about me. So my girlfriend and I, both in 30s, have been together for about 4 years. She used to be close friends with her ex, however, he tried to make a move on her while she and I were together, so she cut off their friendship. They knew each other for about 10 years. They were high school sweethearts and stayed together throughout college. They broke up because he did not want kids. He died recently, and my girlfriend was invited to the funeral. While I wasn't happy, so to speak, to see my girlfriend cry about this guy, I swallowed my emotions and offered my full support. She asked me to come with her. Here's where things get messy. She kept talking about how she wishes they had never broken up in the first place and that she's never met someone who she loved as much as him. She made a speech saying that if things had been different, they'd be a happy family with children. I had to force myself not to say anything then. Now we're back home, and she hasn't said anything about what she said. I'm so close to just leaving, but I don't know if she only said that out of grief. To be clear, she didn't say these things to me. She was talking to others. Update, hello everyone, it's been a stressful couple of days, and my post got a lot more attention than I expected. It was overwhelming, to be honest. It's been a week since the funeral itself, and I've been talking to some friends, as well as reading comments on my last post. Truth be told, I've been hesitant to talk to my girlfriend about this because she's still been depressed. She's not talking to me at all, and I've been taking care of everything around our place. She's just been lying in our bed. I've tried to talk to her, but she just shuts me out. I've been reflecting on our past relationship and realized a couple of things. My girlfriend was never as passionate with me as she was with her ex. She never did anything as romantic or thoughtful for me compared to her ex. For example, she's never gone traveling for more than three days with me, but she traveled often with her ex, sometimes for years. It's not like I haven't offered. I was simply told to get over it and that each relationship is different. People said things like, if she wanted to be with her ex, she would be. I broke up with her. I did have a talk with her. She refused at first by not responding to me, but when I told her I was leaving, she finally said something to me. I basically told her that I've felt like crap ever since she said those things at the funeral. I told her I feel like she would rather be with her ex than me, and that I felt like her second choice. She started to yell at me, calling me selfish, and said she's lost one of the most important people in her life, and I shouldn't make this about me. I was too tired to try to yell back, my things were already packed up. I'm staying with my parents for a while. Our lease doesn't expire for a few months, so I don't know what she's planning to do. I don't know what to do now. I thought I was going to marry this girl someday and have kids, but she wanted someone else all this time. I appreciate all the comments. Thank you. Update 2, I got a lot of support from this subreddit last time, and I appreciate it, so I figured I should update you all. It's the day before Valentine's, and I had actually planned something for my girlfriend before this whole mess started. I can't help but think of her. Our shared friend group didn't side against me, they have been supportive, to both of us it seems. I've explained to them why we broke up, and they were all pretty understanding. My friend and his girlfriend are friends with both of us, and I've asked them about my ex. Apparently, she hasn't been doing well. She's back to work, she took like two weeks off, but besides that, she hasn't been out of the apartment. She hasn't tried to reach me, and I haven't tried to reach her. Our lease expires next month, so I don't know what she's planning to do. She could afford the rent on her own, but she'd be scraping by. I've been tempted to reach out. I hated breaking up, but I hate even more how we broke up. It feels like I left her behind when she needs me the most. If she reacted like this to anyone else, I'd be there for her, no questions asked. But I know better. I know I'd be resentful because she still wants her ex over me. I wanted to thank everyone for the support last time, and I guess this is just me venting. Update 3, she finally reached out. I came back from work to my folks' place, and she was there. My mom let her wait for me. While I'm upset with my mom for letting her in and not giving me a heads up, that's another issue. When I came back, my mom went to the store to give us some privacy. I was a mess inside, but I held it in. She asked how I was and what I've been up to, and we talked as if we were just catching up. I finally asked what exactly she wanted. She said she's sorry for what she did and regrets how things ended between us. She went on to say that she did genuinely love me, and she did want to start a family, but the sudden death of her ex simply hit her too hard. She says she's sorry for what she said and that she didn't mean them. I didn't say anything and was just trying to process what was going on. She didn't actually ask me to get back together. I told her that no matter what she says now, I can't forget what she said at the funeral and how she acted afterward. She said she understood and just wanted to talk to me. I told her that I don't think we can be friends, and that I don't hate her, but I just don't want to be near her. She left, and I was left a wreck. She seems to be okay. She looked healthier than the last time I saw her. I'm actually moving out from my folks' place, and I'm not gonna tell her. I'm gonna make sure my parents don't say anything. I hope that was the last time I see her, at least for a long while. Oh, and one quick thing I wanted to mention, my name is off the lease at our old place. The landlady was very understanding. 
I figured I should mention that because lots of you told me about it. Top comment, NTA. It sounds like you handled it well enough. You would have always known you were just second best. The next guy will be as well. Move on and live your best life. Find someone who makes you their number one. Best of luck.